Hello and welcome here to Aloha Stadium in Hawaii for today's Week 1 action, matching up Washington State and Hawaii. The Cougars have a high scoring offense and it will be interesting to see if the Warriors can stop it. Hawaii is set to kick off here to start Week 1 and we are underway in the 2013 NCAA season. Vince Mayo is back to return for Washington State and he breaks a tackle and he's going ahead and he's going to get up to approximately the 38 yard line and Washington State is off to a good start. Connor Holliday leads the way for the Washington State offense as they will start the 2013 year with a play action pass to Gabe Marks who gets the 14 yard reception and the first down. Already at the Warriors 49 as it's first down for Holliday and he will throw again a quick pass outside to a slot receiver Brett Bartolome who picks up nine it'll be second and one. Washington State comes out in a run formation this time and they will hand off to DeAndre Caldwell, who picks up the first down, but gets blown up in the process. A four-yard gain. Four receivers on the field for Washington State. Holiday will throw again. This time outside to Isaiah Myers, who picks up 16. What a throw. Catches Isaiah on the sideline. Connor Holiday is 3-for-3 three three with 39 so far, and that was a great catch. The Cougars in a threatening position. Holiday fakes the Caldwell and will take it himself. But Holiday goes down behind the line. Defensive end Camelani low with the tackle. And Caldwell really didn't have much option as the read option was covered beautifully. After an incompletion, it is now 3rd and 11. Two backs for the Cougars. Holiday going to the screen pass. Defended well. And Caldwell goes down after only picking up 3 yards. Fernie will come out to kick the field goal. 35 yarder is good from Fernie, and Higgins will hand off the ESF on the first play of the game for the Warriors, and Eosefa goes backwards. A nice tackle from Destiny Veo. Eosefa in motion on second and 11. Higgins will throw across the middle to Scott Harding, who picks up the 14 yard reception and the first down. Another man in motion, this time on first down. Higgins will throw again. The lefty goes down! Jeremy Higgins sacked for an 8-yard loss. Freshman Daquan Brown, the cornerback on the blitz, picks up his first career sack in the NCAA. The Warriors are in a tough situation now on 3rd and 18. Higgins will throw. Higgins pressured, and his throw is off the mark, and it will be 4th and 18, and the punting unit will come out. Myers back to return the punt for the Cougars. Myers fakes right goes up the left side and he's got space Myers bursting up the sideline and picks up a solid 27 yards Holiday and crew in prime position to score Caldwell gets the draw and Caldwell picks up about five they'll mark it as four second and six two bats in this formation for the Cougars Holiday will throw pressure coming quick Holiday gets it off short to Caldwell and Caldwell with speed. He gets the first down and more. 12 yards for Caldwell on that catch. After an incompletion in second and 10. Holiday will hand off to Caldwell and Caldwell will go nowhere. A great stop. A low on the tackle again. A third and 10 now for the Cougars offense. Holiday dropping back. Pressure incoming. Throws deep to Christoph Williams. The wide receiver turned tight end picks up 14 on his first career catch as a tight end. First and goal for Holiday and crew. Holiday will hand off to Teandre Caldwell. And Caldwell is space, but that space closes up quickly. Only three yards. Holiday again. Bartolone in motion. Handoff goes to Caldwell. Goes straight up the middle. And that's a two-yard touchdown run for Teandre Caldwell. The first touchdown on the 2013 season. For the Washington State Cougars is quite the easy one for Teandre Caldwell. For need to boot it off to so Scott Harding. Let's see what he can do on this return. Harding is going to go up the left sideline, breaks the tackle from Jackson and stays in bounds and breaks another tackle, and that's a 38 yard return for Scott Harding. Higgins comes out now down by two possessions. Let's see if he can get something going late in the first quarter. Now throws outside to Bubba Pualuna. Excuse me for my pronunciation, but that's a 13-yard reception. Now third and eight and an empty set for Higgins. 
Higgins will throw. And he goes down. Daquan Brown again on the sack. Daquan Brown, second sack of the game for a cornerback. You don't hear that too often. Maybe the Cougars should contemplate moving him to defensive end with all the pressure he's been getting. The Cougars start at the 20-yard line after the punt from the Warriors, and Holiday will throw on the first down. Being chased out of the pocket, he throws off bounds to Christoph Williams, who stumbles forward to get six yards. Second and four for the Cougars. Holiday will fake to Caldwell and run it himself. The read option works this time, and it gives the Cougars a first down. Cougars at the 37-yard line as the first quarter kicks down. Holiday will throw a quick pass to Gabe Marks, and Gabe Marks picks up big yardage, 16 yards, and that's a first down. Into Warrior territory goes the Cougars. Holiday will throw again. Holiday throwing short to Isaiah Myers, who picks up yards after the catch. A nice 14 to end the first quarter. Now into the second quarter as the Cougars have a first and 10. Holiday going to go screen. Blocker set up. Holiday bounces off of one of his own men and picks up seven. Could have picked up more if it weren't for that one man. A third and three after an incomplete pass. Gabe Marks in motion and it'll be a jet sweep. Gabe Marks powers through and gets the first down. A nice six yard gain. But it looks like Gabe Marks is injured. Marks has left the field and we'll get you an injury report as soon as we can. But for right now it's first and ten at Holiday dumping it off to Christoph Williams. Sure making a good tight end. That's another six yard gain. The Cougars medical staff is telling us that Gabe Marks is out with back spasms and will be back soon. But for right now, Holiday is being flushed out of the pocket and throws it short to Teandre Caldwell who runs into the end zone untouched for the 13-yard touchdown. That's Caldwell's second touchdown of the game. His first was a rushing touchdown. And I don't know how you can leave somebody that versatile that open. 17-0 Washington State. The Warriors take over at their own 30. Evans in motion and Higgins will throw. Throwing short to Evans and that pass is batted away by Cyrus Cohen. Great defensive play. Second and ten upcoming for Jeremy Higgins. And he will throw. Higgins being pressured and he's going to go down. Ewena Nauda on the sack. And yes I did look up his name. But that's a seven yard loss. Great pressure from the defensive line. Third and seventeen. A vital third down for the Hawaii Warriors, as they could be put beyond all doubt soon. Higgins going to go deep, and that's knocked away. Demonte Horton on the deflection, and that's going to be another punt. Jeremy Higgins is now 2 for 7 and 27 yards, just having a terrible game. And Isaiah Myers has been getting plenty of work on this punting duty. And he's going to go left again. And he's got space this time. Cutting inside. Cutting outside. And he's going to go up to the 30 of the Warriors. A 29-yard return. And that's how you get a starting job on punting return. A great chance to put the dagger in the hearts of Hawaii. But Holiday will throw on first down. He's being flushed out of the pocket. And he's going to go down. A 13-yard sack for Tavita Woodward. And that's a huge loss and a very bad play by Holiday. Nobody was open and he should have just thrown that one away. And a glorious chance turns into a bad mistake as the Cougars will go conservative on 2nd and 23 with a run. And it will be 3rd and 18 upcoming. A 3rd and 18 upcoming. Not much chance so they'll go to the screen and they're going to go backwards again. A six-yard loss this time. Teandre Caldwell on the screen. Fourth and 23 upcoming. Yikes. And John Wallowitz is going to throw Fernie for a 60-yard field goal attempt. And he's going to get nowhere close. I understand that the new coach has got to have faith in his kicker. But most NFL kickers probably couldn't hit a 60-yarder, let alone a college kid. Turnover on downs for the Cougars. And now Higgins will set up shop. And he'll go to the draw to Iosefa, and Joey Iosefa goes nowhere. The defense has been relentless so far. Let's see if they can continue on this second and ten. A blitz incoming, but they go to the screen pass to Joey Iosefa. And for one of the few times today, Joey Iosefa picks up positive yards. Now second and ten following an incompletion. Jeremy Higgins will throw across his body to Clark Evans. And his tight end, Evans, will pick up four to make it third and six. Now a third and six for Jeremy Higgins. Will he come clutch and actually get a third down conversion? And he will! 
to his by he throws it to his wide receiver Billy Ray Stutzman who picks up eight and that's a first down a very rare occurrence on third down so far for the Warriors now second and ten after an incompletion Jeremy Higgins under center and being pressured and he will run it himself and slide forward to gain six the first carry of the day for Jeremy Higgins a pivotal third down and four for the Warriors Higgins, a delayed handoff to Iosefa, and Iosefa goes down. Pull on the tackle, and that's going to bring up fourth and three. And the Warriors will go for it. An I formation, fourth and three, a handoff to Iosefa, and he has stopped. Joey Iosefa only picks up two, and the D-line proves its worth. And it will be a turnover on downs. The Cougars will start from about the 23. And Holiday will hand off to Caldwell on the first play of the drive. And Caldwell will pick up about three to make it a second and seven with two minutes left in the half. And we forgot to mention that Gay Marks has just re-entered the game as he comes in motion. And will receive the jet sweep on the first touch after being injured. And he gets rocked, but he gets right back up with some help from Teandre Caldwell. Now first and ten. Holiday will hand off to Caldwell. Caldwell bouncing off a couple men and gets five yards. Second and five, Brett Bartolone in motion. And it's going to be, no, not a jet sweep, a play action. And it's going to be a completed pass to Isaiah Myers for the first down. He gets 11. Now, 39 seconds left in this half. Holiday will hand off to Caldwell again. Caldwell bounces off a man and is wrapped up by the ankles. A nine-yard gain, second and one. Holiday under center with 15 seconds left in the half, and he will hand off to Caldwell. Caldwell bouncing off a couple guys and will get three yards on that carry. Ten seconds left in the half. Time ticking down as will Washington State be able to get a playoff? With one second left, they're able to get the snap away. Holiday going to throw it deep. No, he fumbles it, but it's recovered by Eklund. Not that it mattered. And that will be the end of the first half. 17 to nothing, Washington State. They've dominated this game so far, offensively and defensively. And it should be an interesting second half to see if Hawaii can come back or if Washington State will continue the stranglehold. Hello and welcome back here to the second half of today's game. Washington State is up 17 to nothing over Hawaii. And Hawaii will start it off with a play action. Higgins will throw it deep and off the mark to both of his receivers. It looked like the pass was intended to Evans but over his head. Now second and 10 for the Warriors offense. Higgins will this time hand it off to Iosefa, and Joey Iosefa stumbles ahead and picks up four yards. Another third down already for the Warriors offense. Higgins will throw. Higgins dumps it off to Iosefa, and Iosefa powers his way through and picks up eight yards for the first down. Three wide, a tight end, and a running back for the Warriors offense. Higgins will throw. He dumps it off to Iosefa, who picks up nine, but there is a flag on the field. It's going to be for roughing the passer, and that's a big one. Who is it on, though? It's going to be on Robert Barber. Oh, boy, we'll have to take a look at this. Now, here's the Ray play. That one was in full speed, and this one is slowed down, and the ball has definitely left Higgins' hands before Barber gets there. A good call by the referee. I have formation on second down after an incompletion. Higgins hands off to Iosefa, and Iosefa goes down behind the line. Cyrus Cohen on the tackle. He's had a good day so far. Now pivotal third and 11. Higgins will throw. Higgins being pressured. And he's going to go down. A seven yard loss. And who would have guessed it? It's Robert Barber on the tackle. And that's a bit of retribution as he's jarring it up. If you don't remember, Barber was the one who got the roughing the passer penalty. And he just made up for it there. Fourth and 18. And the punting unit comes out again for the Warriors. Punt goes back to Isaiah Myers, who's been getting plenty of duty so far. Myers fakes left, goes right. He's got space. A man chasing. Breaks a tackle. Powers ahead. Breaks through another tackle. And Isaiah Myers having a great day on punting return. Picking up another 20-plus return. Cougars come out with a two-back set. Holiday. Handed it off. No fakes. To play action. Being pressured, throws it outside, and Mason can't come down with it. Mason goes off onto the sidelines, not shockingly, but Holiday will throw on second down. He throws it deep to Gabe Marks, who picks up another big gain. Gabe Marks, three catches for 48 yards, 
and Holiday has been having a great day through the air so far. After an incompletion and a run from Caldwell that went nowhere, it's now 3rd and 10. And Holiday will throw for it. And that's nearly intercepted by TJ Ty Matuia. And that will bring up 4th down. And here comes Fernie again, this time for a 53-yarder. Fernie. Might have had the distance, but not the accuracy. Looks like the wind took that one. But now we've got a studio update, and we got an upset alert. Rice 28, Texas A&M 17, look out. Now getting back to our game, Hawaii will start the drive with an empty backfield. And will throw to Scott Harding, who picked up the first down, and more, powering himself ahead. He picks up 14. Joey Iasefa comes back into the game, and Higgins will throw on first down. Throws across his body to Clark Evans, and Evans gets blown up by the cornerback. And gets up 11 yards in the first down. After an incompletion and a run from Higgins, it's now third and eight. Higgins will throw on third down. Throwing off bounds into nobody in particular. That's going to be fourth down. Offense is going to stay up for fourth down and eight. And Higgins will throw. Higgins throwing deep. And that was intercepted. Daquan Brown. And Daquan Brown is going to be tackled at uh, about the eight yard line. But Daquan Brown having the probably one of the best games a cornerback can have in his first ever NCAA game. Two sacks and an interception. Cougars taking over. Bird alone in motion and he gets the jet sweep. Powering ahead and he gains four. Four wide for the Cougars. Called well in motion. It'll be a throw. Holiday rolling left. And he throws across his body to Gabe Marks who picks up seven in the first down. First down for Holiday, and he will throw again. Holiday, going to roll out right, a man chasing him, and he's going to go down. Another 13-yard sack for the Hawaii defense to Vita Woodward on the sack this time. Now backed up to the 6-yard line, let's see what Holiday will do. On second down, he'll go to the screen, and Caldwell has space. Bursting up the right-hand side, and he's going to get 17 yards and gain all that back. But now after the Caldwell... Caldwell 17 yard gain is now third and six. Holiday will throw and Christoph Williams is unable to make the catch. TJ Taimatu we on coverage. Hawaii comes out after the punt. And it'll be a pitch to Iosefa. Iosefa gets tackled for a four yard loss. Daquan Brown again. This guy's having the game of his life in his first ever career game. After an Iosefa two yard run, it's now third and twelve. Higgins will throw, going deep, and he's got Scott Harding wide open, a 38-yard reception, by far the biggest of the day for the Hawaii offense, and I'm not sure how Harding was that open, but a great job by Harding to lay out and make that catch. Now correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the first time Hawaii's been in the red zone of Washington State, and on first down it'll be a throw outside to Iosefa, who picks up three. Now second and seven, Higgins will delay the handoff to Iosefa, and Iosefa has the first down and more, picking up ten, and it will be first and goal. I form look from the Warriors as Laka Laka comes in, and he receives the handoff, but he goes down behind the line, a one-yard loss. Daryl Monroe, the middle linebacker, on the tackle. Laka Laka stays in the game, and he's the lone back, and he receives the handoff. Going outside, Laka Laka trying to cut down on the angle, and he goes nowhere. Dale Monroe again on the tackle. Joey Iosefa returns to the game, unlikely the last play of the third quarter. Higgins throwing across his body and touchdown. Billy Ray Stutzman gets the Warriors on the board, and it is now 17-7, very late in the third quarter. Now just a studio update on the Rice-Texas A&M game. Texas A&M coming closer to Rice. It's now 28-23. The kick goes back to Vince Mayo, and we'll see what he can do from the 8-yard line. Vince Mayo fumbles it, and Isaiah Myers recovers. And that is not a way that you want Vince Mayo to be playing. That's only his second return of the year, and he fumbled it. After an incompletion, it's now 2nd and 10, and we are now in the 4th quarter. As Teandre Caldwell receives the handoff, and he powers his way forward for 7 yards. It'll be 3rd and 3. A running formation, Vince Mayo in motion. And the handoff will be to Caldwell. Caldwell was spaced to the right side, and he picks up the first down and more. He picks up eight on that third down carry. 
First and ten. Holiday. Going to the screen again. To Caldwell. Caldwell runs the first man. And is met after picking up four yards. Second and six. Holiday under center. And he will throw. Throwing outside to Caldwell. Caldwell is met and loses two yards. A bad decision from Holiday. And that will result in a third and eight. On third and eight. Time running down. They get the snap off and it's going to be a handoff to Bartolone who breaks the tackle and on the jet sweep goes backwards. Fourth and nine. Out comes the punting unit to veto Word Woodward, Woodward on the tackle. The Warriors start at their own 41 after the punt. Higgins will hand off to ESF on first down and ESF a powering his way through picking up six yards. This is a pivotal drive for the Hawaii Warriors as if they don't convert here they're likely done. In today's game, as Joey Iasefa picks up six, six yards and the first down. On first down, Higgins under center. Will delay the handoff to Joey Iasefa, and Joey goes backwards three yards. Daryl Monroe on, the, on another tackle for loss, his third on the day. On second and 13, the Warriors will come out in a five-wide set. And Higgins will throw it off to Gant and... Chris Gant picks up nine. It'll be third and four. Higgins under center. And he will throw. Higgins going short to Billy Ray Stutzman. And that is well covered and incomplete. Fourth down and four upcoming. The Warriors don't convert here and their day will likely be done. Higgins will throw. Throwing outside to Pu'uluna. And Pu'uluna's second catch of the day is a vital one. And the change will be moved on fourth down. Higgins on first down will throw. Higgins going deep and that's nearly intercepted. Tracy Lee Clark on the de on the deflection. On second down it looks like another passing play coming up. As it is, Higgins going short to Joey Iusefa who picks up four. It'll be third and six. And on third down the Warriors will air it out with an empty backfield and five wide. Higgins, no Higgins will run it himself and he'll slide. It'll be 4th and 4 upcoming after picking up 2 yards on that slide. 4th and 4. Iosefa in motion to make it 5 wide and Higgins dropping back. Stumbles. Throws outside to Joey Iosefa who makes the catch. And moves the chains again on 4th down. A 12 yard reception makes it 1st and goal. A tight set from the Warriors. Looks like it'll be a handoff. No, it'll be a throw. Higgins throws it out the back of the end zone after seeing nobody open and the pressure incoming. Smart play. On second and goal now, Higgins will go read option, and he's got space, and Higgins will run it in himself for the touchdown. A four-yard touchdown makes this a big game, as it is now 17-14. Will Hawaii have anything left to potentially tie the game? But the Warriors won't be able to do anything unless they stop the Cougars on this drive. Handoff goes to Caldwell, and that's step one, a three-yard gain and a timeout called by the Warriors. Caldwell stays out on the field and will likely get the handoff as he does. Caldwell, not much space up the middle and is stopped after a two-yard gain timeout call called by the Warriors. A huge third down in this game, but will Holiday pass it or hand it off? And he will elect to pass. Holiday throwing short to Caldwell and he's got space. Caldwell picks up 13 and the last timeout is called by Hawaii. First down, Cougars. Caldwell and Mason out on this play. Caldwell in motion, and the handoff will be to Mason. Marcus Mason running outside, and he's stopped after getting nine yards. Second and one, clock keeps running. Not sure why the Cougars aren't kneeling here, but nonetheless, the handoff will go to Caldwell, and Caldwell is stuffed up the middle by Camelani Alo, and I have a feeling the Cougars will just kneel on this next play to end the game. And with this kneel, the game will be over. Washington State, 17 Hawaii 14. The Warriors try to come back late in this game, but your offensive player of the game and all-around player of the game is Teandra Caldwell, and your defensive player of the game is Daquan Brown. But I'd like to thank you for watching, and slap the like button. I hope you enjoyed this episode, and up next will be some hut, so I hope you stick around for that, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.